Hi! Say hello to Unicaru 12G, the world's most advanced portable pizza oven. We'll begin with a quick run through of some key features, and then I'll show you how to use your Caru 12G to make incredible pizza. Let's get started. First things first, this is what you'll receive when you order an Unicaru 12G. Inside the box, you'll find a custom-made Cordurite baking stone, the Unicaru 12G first cook guide, manual and warranty. Don't forget to download the Uni app and register your oven to get your warranty extension. Your pizza oven door, the main body of your pizza oven, the pizza oven chimney and chimney cap, the rear draft fender plate, the fuel tray and grate, a handy Torx key and the screws you need to assemble your door hinge pin and door plate. The Unicaru 12G is incredibly easy to assemble. It'll take you less than five minutes to put together. First, lift the body of the oven out of the box. Place your Caru 12G top down on a flat surface. Make sure that you've placed the oven on a soft surface to avoid any scratches and to prevent it from moving. Align the door with the fixed hinge pin on the right hand side. Then place the hinge pin into the left hand side of the oven door and position it over the opening. Secure in place with the M5 by 16mm screw. Shut the oven door and then tighten the screw with the Torx key. Keep some pressure on the door to help with alignment. Next, position the door plate at the front of the oven and align the two M5 by 10 screws. Tighten with the Torx key and your door is ready to go. Try opening and closing it a few times to make sure everything is aligned properly. Next, turn over your oven and fold the legs out. Slide the fuel tray and grate into the back of the oven and put the rear draft fender plate on. You can now slide the baking stone carefully into the oven. Now it's time to connect the chimney. Simply place it into the round chimney port and twist to lock it into place. Finally, push the door into the oven mouth and store the Torx key in the slot in the oven's rear leg. This will also lock the leg in place, making your oven even more secure. That's it! Before lighting your Caru 12G, make sure you put it on a level, stable surface outdoors. We don't recommend using your oven on plastic or glass tables. Make sure you leave at least three feet, that's one meter, of space between your pizza oven and any building, structure or flammable materials. You should also have at least 10 feet, that's three meters of clearance above the oven. Run your oven at top temperature for 30 minutes before making pizza for the first time. Allow it to cool down fully before giving it a wipe down with a dry paper towel. Avoid using water on your stone. The key to creating the optimal cooking environment is good fuel management. And a sufficiently hot fire will help you make great pizza. Here's how to get a rolling fire going with solid fuels. Your Unicaru 12G has an extra large fuel tray that will hold pieces of wood up to 6 inches or 15 centimetres long. Don't use treated or painted wood because it might not be safe to burn near food. Build a structure using four to six pieces of wood, plus a couple of Uni premium natural fire starters. Make sure your chimney baffle is pointed up to get the best airflow through the oven and best heat up time. Light the fire starters, then wait for the wood to catch. Close the fuel hatch and ensure the glass door is closed. Keep the chimney baffle wide open to keep air flowing through the oven. Give your oven five to 10 minutes to get going after you light the fire. Top up when the wood has mainly burned through but still producing a flame, so the new wood will catch. Don't overload the fuel tray. Instead, top up with wood little by little, but often. Caru 12G's chimney baffle has a heat resistant handle. However, we still suggest that you use a pair of Uni pizza oven gloves to protect your hands whenever you need to make any adjustments to the baffle. You can also use Uni Premium Lumpwood Charcoal to build a fire. Lumpwood Charcoal helps keep a nice hot base temperature going, so it's a great solid fuel choice for your pizza oven. To get a fire started, put a generous handful of charcoal into your fuel tray and top with a couple of fire starters. Light the fire starters, then close the fuel hatch and wait for the charcoal to catch. Check to see if your charcoal is burning red before you top up. Again, Use a pair of Uni pizza oven gloves to protect your hands whenever you add more solid fuel. Before you begin cooking, make sure your charcoal is glowing white with a red centre. 
If you're using solid fuels, a bit of smoke after lighting is a good sign that everything's burning as normal. When your Caro 12G gets up to cooking temperature, the smoke will turn white and you'll get a clean burn. If you want to lower the temperature of your oven when cooking with solid fuel, reduce your preheat time or the amount of fuel you use. For quick temperature adjustments on the fly, close over your chimney baffle a little. At that point, you can cook delicious Chicago-style pizzas, sautéed vegetables, steaks and artisan breads for longer. Top your charcoal with kindling to boost heat and create that long, rolling flame. You can use a combination of charcoal and wood kindling to build a fire too. Get a bed of hot charcoal going and then put a chunk or two of hardwood kindling on top. Whatever you do, don't overfill the fuel tray. You should always be able to put the fuel hatch back on and you don't want to block airflow. 15 minutes after you light your fire, you should see a nice long rolling flame moving over the roof of your Caro 12G. That means it's nearly pizza time. A range of 12 inch pizza peels are perfect for the Uni Caro 12G. The Uni Bamboo Peel and Serving Board is ideal for prepping and launching. The classic Uni Pizza Peel works well for turning and retrieval. When the temperature in the middle of your pizza stone reads 400 degrees Celsius, that's 750 degrees Fahrenheit, or higher with an Uni Infrared Thermometer, your oven is hot enough to make Neapolitan style pizza. If you've never made pizza in an Uni pizza oven before, or if you're not using Neapolitan dough, you can launch your pizza into a slightly cooler oven. Your pizza bake time will increase, but the lower temperature will give you a little time to get used to cooking with fire. You can use the optional Uni Caro 12G gas burner to convert your Uni Caro 12G into a gas powered pizza making machine. Cooking with gas in your Caro 12G is super simple. When you use gas, you don't have to top up the solid fuel so you can concentrate on making great pizza instead. The gas burner for Uni Caro 12 is very easy to attach. It comes pre-assembled and you won't need any special tools to connect the unit, just the Torx key supplied with your pizza oven. Your oven has to be completely cool before you switch fuel types. Open the door and remove the fuel tray, the rear draft defender plate and the fuel hatch door. Please note, the baffle must be open for gas burner operation and that the chimney cap is off. Slide the gas burner into the back of your pizza oven and tighten the Torx bolts to secure it into place. Connect the gas regulator to your gas canister and you'll be good to go. The gas connector might vary depending on where you live. To light your gas burner, turn on the gas at your gas bottle. Then push in and slowly turn the temperature dial on the back of your gas burner anti-clockwise for five seconds until it clicks. It's important to keep the dial pressed in for five seconds after ignition to override the flame safety device. Otherwise, your oven might not stay lit. If you see a flame through the fuel hatch door, that's perfect! Put the hatch cover on, close the door and wait for your oven to preheat. If you don't see a flame, turn off the gas, wait 5 minutes and repeat the lighting process. It's always a good idea to check the temperature of your baking stone with an Uni Infrared Thermometer too. When the temperature in the middle of the stone reads 400 degrees Celsius or 750 degrees Fahrenheit, your oven is ready to make Neapolitan style pizza. The oven is at temperature in 15 minutes so that you can make pizza in 60 seconds. And you can add 10 to 15 minutes of preheat time to account for ambient temperatures. You can bring down the oven temperature when cooking with gas. To use low and slow mode, turn the dial counterclockwise until the Uni logo is upside down and the dial is at the 6 o'clock position. You don't need to do much to keep your Caro 12G in tip-top condition. In fact, it's largely self-cleaning. Having said that, let's look at a few ways you can keep your oven looking extra sparkly. Your baking stone might pick up a few burned flour marks, but that's totally normal and they'll usually go away over time. To get rid of any baked on residue, run your pizza oven at top temperature for about 30 minutes. Then, sweep any remaining food debris off the baking stone with an Uni pizza oven brush. When your oven's cool, use the hole in the bottom of your pizza oven to push up and gently remove your baking stone. Using two hands, flip it over very carefully and reinsert it into your Caro 12G. The heat of the oven will naturally clean the other side of the stone. It's that simple. Your baking stone is made of cordierite, which is really porous and absorbent. So don't use water to clean your baking stone. If you get water on your stone, it could crack the next time you fire up your oven. You can wipe out the inside of your oven and chimney with a dry paper towel or cloth if you want to. 
Run a damp cloth over the outside of your Caro 12G to wipe away dust and soot. Use a soft cloth to remove smudges and other marks on the oven body, the door frame and the chimney. Finally, if you have a gas burner for Uni Caro 12G, clean it gently with an Uni pizza oven brush at least every three months to remove food residue and keep gas flowing properly. You can keep your Caro 12G indoors or outdoors and it'll be especially happy under a carry cover. Just make sure you let your pizza oven cool down before putting the cover on it. To keep rain out of your oven, put the fuel hatch and the chimney cap on and close the pizza oven door. If you're expecting bad weather, like high winds or snow for example, it's best to store your Caro 12G in a dry place indoors. Remember to register your new Uni Caro 12G pizza oven at uni.com forward slash warranty to extend your guarantee. You'll find a handy link to download the Uni app on the box. If you have any questions, get in touch with us online or on social media. Have fun and happy pizza making!